Vienna Pride Parade attack foiled, Austrian police say. Here's a summary of the article. Three suspected Islamists have been arrested in Austria over allegedly planning to attack the annual LGBTQ plus Pride Parade, police say. Austrian security services said those arrested in their homes on Saturday were young men, aged 14, 17 and 20. The Austrian domestic intelligence chief, Omar Hijawi Perchner, revealed the arrests at a news conference on Sunday. He said police had waited to reveal details of the planned attack until after the parade to ensure participants did not feel anxious. Mr. Hijawi Perchner said the men were Austrian nationals of Bosnian and Chechen origin, and that one of them was already known to police due to other terrorism charges. Austrian authorities were aware that so-called Islamic State had been urging more attacks, he added. The last is attack in Austria took place in November 2020, when a gunman opened fire in a popular nightlife area in Vienna, killing four people and injuring 23 others. This post received a score of 16,000, with an up-vote ratio of 91%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. This is awesome. Should be a best practice wherever possible. Greater than Austrian security services said those arrested in their homes on Saturday were young men, aged 14, 17 and 20. Pretty sure those weren't the actual instigators. Hopefully they'll talk and give authorities some clues about their backers. I think it's possible that there aren't any other instigators, other than the is calling for more attacks in general, and that they came up with their plan themselves. Police said that they sympathize with the as and radicalize themselves online. Apparently they watched influencer preachers on TikTok and other social media platforms. Their preparation feels pretty amateurish too. Terrorism in 2023 is often stochastic terrorism. If you're evil, you don't need to involve yourself by planning attacks. You just keep spewing radicalizing propaganda and some fools will do it for you. You'll never meet them, but they'll die for your cause and your hands will remain clean. Any dipshits who believe all speech is good speech are willfully ignoring the dangerous effect of radical hate speech. 100% spewing hateful rhetoric in public through newspapers, social media, etc. with no consequences is how anti-Semitism, racism, and religious terrorism spread and take root in politics and society. If we want to prevent these hate-oriented movements from getting to the stage where people are killed, there must be legal punitive consequences to the intentional and willful spread thereof. Greater than less well known is the paradox of tolerance. Unlimited tolerance must lead to the disappearance of tolerance. If we extend unlimited tolerance even to those who are intolerant, if we are not prepared to defend a tolerant society against the onslaught of the intolerant, then the tolerant will be destroyed, and tolerance with them. We should claim the right to suppress them if necessary even by force, for it may easily turn out that they are not prepared to meet us on the level of rational argument, but begin by denouncing all argument. They may forbid their followers to listen to rational argument, because it is deceptive, and teach them to answer arguments by the use of their fists or pistols. We should therefore claim, in the name of tolerance, the right not to tolerate the intolerant. I don't understand why people hate LGBT so much. Fascism has a long history of attacking queer people. The first thing that the Nazis burned wasn't a Jewish library or place of worship, but the library of the Institute of Sexology, which was essentially the first gender identity clinic and where the first gender-affirming surgery was performed. I don't say this to minimize the horrible atrocity committed against the Jewish people in any way, but to highlight that yes, fascists very much target queer people as a matter of course. The rise of fascist groups the steady rollback of queer liberty in the US and many other nations should be a lot more fucking worrying to more people than it is. Edit. Very much worth noting that the institute was run by a gay Jewish man, Magnus Hirschfeld, which I neglected to say in the original version of this comment. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.